afternoon. So, your holiday's booked. You know where you're going. You've got your hotel. You're done and dusted. <laughs> oh no. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. You now enter a very important phase of your holiday. It is called the preparation phase. Or, to give it another name, things to do to make sure that when you get on the plane, you're going to enjoy yourself and not deeply regret every second of the experience. So, first job. Do you work full time? Did you book your time off? No point booking a holiday if they go to your boss and say, I want this week off, and they look at the records and say, sorry, Joe Bloggs is off that week, you can't be going. Make sure we do it the right way around. Then you get to the really annoying stuff. Passport validity, check. Do you plan on driving? Make sure your driving license is okay. Have you sorted your money out? No point turning up at the airport not having a uh, penny to your name. That's really depressing. So, got that bit done. What's next? If you've got pets, cat, dog, anything, are they going to be okay? They've been sorted out. You know where they're going? Going to be safe? You do not want to be enjoying yourself on holiday and suddenly have this blinding thought, ooh, what's happening to Tiddles? Nah, you need to know they're safe and sound. So, we got all that done. Then you do the other bit. Research where you're going. Now, I'm going to use the city of Las Vegas for a little bit of uh, an example. I've been there a few times and I'm going back one more, one last time in a while. Do a little bit of research on where you're going. Vegas is a good example because if you get off the plane at Harry Reid International Airport and don't have a clue what you're doing, you're an idiot. But that applies to every airport. If you're going on holiday, have a little idea about the place you're going. How do you get from A to B? What's the best things to be doing? Get a bit of a plan in. You simply do not want to get off the plane at an airport and think, what am I doing now? You need to have a clue. Vegas, again, useful example, is full of fun and frolics and all kinds of bright lights. But if you haven't made a plan and haven't got an idea what you're going to do, then realistically, the chances are you won't do any of it. Or even worse, you'll be getting back to the airport to go home thinking, ooh, why didn't I do any of this stuff? Doesn't matter where you're going, be it Las Vegas, be it Spain, Portugal, Australia, wherever. Do preparation on the place. Have an idea. If you don't, you'll feel a right fool. So the plan is this. You get to the airport. Your holiday starts. You don't want any extra thoughts in your head. You don't want stuff in your brain going, Ooh, I should have done this. Why didn't I do that? How come I haven't done this? Mm -mm. All should be packed up and done. Holidays are meant to be fun. You're meant to enjoy yourself. Spur of the moment stuff happens. But to all that to work, you've got to have done a bit of planning. Now, there's a few extra bits for the States, of course. Esters, COVID tests, they still insist on those day before departure. Make sure you've got your planning done. Make sure it's in the book and ticked off. Because when you get to that airport, you want to get on the plane and be away. You do not want to have extra thoughts and why didn't I do this is or oh, I haven't done that or all that and the other. Get your preparation done. You'll know what it needs doing as you think about your holiday. I'm slightly lucky. I've got a pretty relaxing place to be doing my preparation. It's not bad, is it? But make sure you get it done because Holidays are meant to be fun, meant to enjoy yourselves. Not be thinking, whoops, what did I do here? Get it right, have fun, don't get it wrong, and have a disaster. Happy holes.